Samantala, sinagot din ng mga opisyal ang ilan bu ilang buwan ng problema ng maraming magulang sa, paa sa maagang pagpasok ng flu season, lalo na sa mga kabataan. Ang kakulangan ng gamot pambata sa report na ito. So I've seen a lot of parents um, also ask in parenting groups, um, can anyone help me? It is frustrating because again, you are going, like if your child is sick and you have to go to like six different stores and sometimes you don't have transportation to do that. Isa lang ang taga Vancouver na si Susan Tran sa dumaraming bilang ng mga magulang ngayon na hirap makahanap ng pambatang Tylenol sa mga butika. Karaniwang gamot ng marami sa tuwing nilalagnat o may sakit sa katawan ng mga chikiting nila. Isa lang daw ito sa mga senyales na nahaharap tayo sa mas maaga at malalang flu season dahil wala pa mang winter tila nagkakaubusan na ng mga gamot. It's been frustrating and right now we are on our last bottle. And so I'm already on the lookout to stock up. I think that's the only thing we can do is you're going to have to stock up. That was what it says. Sounds extreme, but has anyone gone down to Bellingham to pick up children's Tylenol and Advil? Aminado ang BC family doctor na si Anna Wolak maging sila naghahanap din ng supply, di lang para sa mga sariling pamilya, kundi para tulungan din ang mga pasyente nila. Health Canada has admitted that there is a shortage. And... We are seeing pharmacies are keeping them behind the counter. And I am, I know a lot of physicians are actually specifically saying, having to talk to their patients about it, about dosing and what the, these, and this has been going on for ages. I remember talking about this in, in August. Ani Pawolak, tinuturuan na rin nilang mga magulang kung paano pwedeng i-adjust ang Tylenol na pang matanda para magamit ng mga bata. Other physicians, other parents are all doing the same thing, and we're finding the the smaller doses that we can so we can crush up and and dose accordingly. Bukod daw kasi sa kakulangan ng supply, hindi rin nakakatulong ang ilang mga magulang na sigurista. This is more like toilet paper from March 2020. There was a shortage, but you could still find it. But when people found it, they were hoarding. Samantala, tiniyak naman ng mga otoridad na inaayos na ng Health Canada ang problema sa kakulangan ng supply. I do know that our Health Canada colleagues are working extremely hard with um, different partners including manufacturers um, and that they've also enabled um, the uh, importation of supplies such as ibuprofen from the United States and acetaminophen from Australia. So um, I think um, they're working as, as hard as they can to, um, with the understanding that, of course, uh, parents and kids need these medications. Mariton Pacheco, Omni News, Vancouver.